Okay, so start of another year, and I would say you should be able to find 20% extra this year um, just by sitting at home for the day. What you need to do is look at, if you're in the UK, look at cancelling things like Sky TV. Um, first thing is, I cut mine off years ago and then realised I didn't miss it, and that saved me 50, 60 pounds a month. But you'll also find if you're looking at cancel, there's a special team on Sky um, that will look to keep you on, uh, especially if you've been there for a long time. They don't. They know that once you cancel, you don't come back. So your sports TV and everything, I would look at that because you're gonna find that if you cancel, they might even give you three months free or whatever to keep you at a lower tariff, whatever. You negotiate that, but I'll tell you now, you'll save money. The next thing is, the, these things like the insurance for your Skybox, cancel it. Now, people say to me, but what do you mean cancel it? Well, I'm not being funny, but if my Skybox died, I'm not going to buy another one. Uh, and if I just cancel my Sky subscription, which isn't on an annual contract, then uh, I'm not being funny. I'm sure they would give me a free box. If they don't, I'm going to save money. At the end of the day, it's them that want to keep you as a customer. This whole Skybox uh, insurance policy, what's it worth? It's worth nothing to you. It's there. It only works with their system. So I'd have a think about that one yourself because personally, I can't see the value in having any insurance on the Skybox because it's not something you essentially need unless you have a business that relies on it. Um, you should simply just cancel it if it breaks then it's up to them whether they give you another box or not. Car insurance, phone round, do a bit of research on that. Uh, your phone provider, phone round, water, electric, gas, all these people all want your business and hopping around will save you money. And doing all this you will find that you can actually save about 20% a year without a lot of work. It may take you a day, but that's 20% of your income that you've just recovered by phoning around. And you might even get some freebies thrown in as well. So all I can say on that, well, you know, because this is a big thing for me, it's not always to think about how much more money I can make this year, but how much more money I can save as well. Because if you get it in balance, you'll actually find your income increases, even if financially it didn't. Um, the money in the bank increases because, quite simply, you've spent less. So, have a look, list down everything you think you can actually recover money on, and then do a bit of research online. Spend a day doing it, or spend a couple hours a night over a week, and you'll find that you can recover money quite quickly by hopping around, changing your gas provider, changing your electric provider, uh, changing your car insurance, because this is why they all drive for this auto renewal system. I cancel mine as soon as they set it up because I don't like them doing it um, because they're trying to get you to forget. Because if because most people just auto renew if they do, you know, it's like oh I forgot and they've renewed it, so fine, I'll leave it till next year. Just cancel them, you know. They'll send you a reminder before it comes through anyway. Um, but I find if you're proactively doing it, like your car insurance is going to expire you then proactively find somebody else who will give you a better deal. Alright, thanks for watching.